In this video, we are going to go over export options in LASX 3.6. Now, there are various levels of complexity when it comes to exporting your images in LASX. Let's start with the most basic level, which is to export from the viewer window. When you want to export the image that you see, right-click on the image and select Export. An Export As window will appear. Here, you can choose where to export your file, in which format you want to export. You can choose TIFF, JPEG, or PNG, among others. There's a box to check whether you want to export the lookup table, or LUT, which is the color that you will have assigned the fluorescent channels. You also have the possibility to burn into your image things such as date, time, scale bar, coordinates, and color bar. Importantly, if you want to export annotations such as a scale bar that you've drawn or arrows, then you have to follow a specific order of steps. First, you have to click the Annotations button to get the full annotations menu. Then you draw your annotations. When you right-click and go to Export Image, then the annotations will appear under Burn into Scaled Viewer Image. If you don't do it under the full annotations menu, this option will not be there. When you're done, you can press Save to export. So I've already done this previously. Let's go ahead and check on our images that we exported. So here we are looking at the image that we exported from our image viewer. And you can see that it looks exactly like how we exported it. And we did not export this one with the scale bar. So you do not see it on this image. You can also export specific channels. So this one, we hid the purple channel or the magenta channel, and we only exported the DAPI and the green channel. The next level of complexity is to export from the Open Projects tab. Here you can see that the export window has two possibilities, images and movies. Let's discuss exporting images first. Again, you can choose which folder you want to export to and in which file format you would like to export. There are options to choose between compression and lookup table exporting. Under the image options, you must either raw or scaled viewer image. The raw image is in grayscale and in full range, whereas the scaled viewer image is in color and also retains any auto scale or auto range that you've imposed on your image. You can also choose to export overlay a scaled viewer image, which combines all of your channels. You can also choose to export overlay a scaled image, which basically will export your overlay, as it says. If you have a series such as time-lapse or z-stack, you can export as multi-page. So let's show you that. If you right-click on the z-stack and go to export image, it gives you the option of save as multi-page. Now this will let you save all the, the whole series in one page and then you can view it easier. If you have a raw navigator mosaic image, you will also see an option here to reduce the tile scan size. You have the possibility to burn in your image things such as the date, time, scale bar, coordinates, and color bar, as well as annotations. So now let's take a look at our exported images. So when we export as raw, we basically have these kind of dim images because we did not auto scale them and they are in monochrome or grayscale. However, this might be really important if you're doing things like image analysis and you're interested in the raw image intensities or pixel intensities. Alternatively, you can export scaled and this shows us the scaled version in color of our three channels. Now I mentioned the multi-page export option. If you export in multi-page, this for instance is the overlay, you can see that each of these files is actually each of the five Z stacks in one image or one file. So you can quickly scroll through these as opposed to if you don't save them in a multi-page, you get them individually. So each of these is the Z stack in each color separated out. So it's a little bit more cumbersome to look through these files. Now for movie exporting, we only have a few options. Similar to before, we have the option to choose the folder where we want to export. Uh, we have different file formats. We have AVI, QuickTime, or MPEG-4 available to us. You can choose the frames per second. And then which channels you want to export. You can also burn in date, time, etc. 
For AVIs, there is a two gigabyte limit for export. So you will either need to decrease your file size before you export or export in a different format. Finally, we can export from the project level. Here, your export settings will apply to every file in your project. So the main difference is that you can't select specific channels to export, but all of the other options remain the same. So this ends the tutorial for how to export images in LASX. In terms of workflow, I always recommend trying different op export options on a few test images before you apply the settings to all of your images. As always, we recommend saving your files in the LIF or Leica image format and exporting only when you need to for image processing or analysis or for making figures.